Hey everyone, welcome to Some Look Beer Landlord. My name's APQ and I'm finally back. I've been away for like two weeks and it uh, feels good to be back. It means that we can finally play Floor 15. Uh, floor 15 is, uh, what's the change here? Oh, okay. The duds are added every 15 spins instead of every 20 spins. So it sounds like our board is going to get flooded with duds, um, which I actually don't like the sound of. I'm going to start with a crab here. Usually I'd have started with a mouse, because I kind of like mouse and cheese and ninja mouse, but... Yo, cultist. Uh, but instead, I've gone for the crab. And we just got to hope that we find more crabs here to make that beneficial. Otherwise, we're going to regret it pretty early on. But we'll pay 25. We've got four spare. We'll take an item capsule and we'll take adoption papers. Adoption papers, we're going to add a monkey, a crab, and a rabbit. Okay. Item capsule gives us a fish tank. We're going to add a dog here, which actually I don't really like that quickly. The wolves, so that's kind of bad. I'll add an urn as well. Okay, this is already a bad, bad build. There's the monkey. Probably should have added, oh, I mean the mice. Probably should have added the uh, miner to destroy this ore. Didn't really think that one's free, but we'll pay 50 anyway with 19 spare. By the way, oh, we got a monkey out of the coconut. By the way, this is a new microphone. So, um, you know, let me know what you think. Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? Does it sound weird? I'm, I've only just set it up a few hours ago. I've been tweaking with the settings all evening, trying to get it right. And uh, I'm not sure if I have, so. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, the comments will help me fix it. That's the way this channel usually works because I'm bad at pretty much most things. Um, I mean, we'll probably do some streams this week as well and get some live feedback from the chat and stuff and try and tweak it on stream to get it perfect. But um, yeah, no, hopefully it sounds good. So let me know in the comments. Um, this is a messy build already, so I'm kind of scared here. We pay 100 with 61 spare, not too bad. We'll take a buffing capsule and a lunchbox. Lunchbox is going to allow me to add a chemical seven. Milk for the cats. Cheese for the mouse. Yes. I'm going to use removal token on the coin. Okay, that's nice. Something happened there. I'm not really sure what it was, but we roll 44. I'm going to take a bronze arrow because it could come in quite useful. Maybe not because it pointed off the board. Uh, there's our third crab. We get two on the same row there, which is nice. We roll 46. There's our third cultist. It is. Okay. Here's cheese for the mouse. Nice beer drank. Nice bronze arrow direction there. 60 rolled. And take a hustling capsule to start on the passive income. We'll make the seven gold back pretty soon, I hope. Although we didn't even roll at that time. But we'll pay 150 here. 147 spare. That's going to have to be lucky carrot. And a chemical seven. And black pepper okay nice it's our second lucky seven it's our first pool ball we now get to choose a very rare symbol which will be a golden arrow yes please golden arrow does point off the board straight away but i'm sure it will help us out for the rest of the run here's another hustling capsule which might be risky again but it's our second pool ball golden arrow points towards a crab there's two crabs in the same row so it gave us 16 okay that'll do i mean they're one value symbols but they're worth four now so that, that'll do Here's our fourth cultist, although we didn't roll all four at once. Two crabs in the same row here. We roll 31. We'll take an essence capsule. Okay, we've got some duds that are getting close to being removed, which is nice. Then obviously more are just going to be added, but still. Of course, both arrows point towards the same dud. Oh, well. We pay 225 with 152 spare. Okay, let's think about this. Destroyed after six spins. Symbols in a corner are considered adjacent. Do we need adjacency right now? I don't think we do. Nothing's trying to eat anything right now. It's just having four crabs, sorry, three crabs in a row of four cultists on the board. I think bowling ball. Hang on, this gives three. The 20, let's take this. I mean, it's the same. You get the same amount as you do with the, the pool ball, but we get it faster, which is really important because we don't have a lot of money. We're definitely going to add rusty gear. If we get three cultists like this, oh, let's go. They get multiplied by two. Okay, we've got a removal token as well, so we can get rid of some stuff. We've got five duds on the board right now. Bad beer for the dwarf. I'm still going to get rid of stuff, even with the duds, because I need stuff to be adjacent. And the duds, I mean, the other stuff's going to get in the way of that, so. But we need the cultists to be adjacent every spin if we can, if we really want to make this. 300 is doing three spins. We've already made that. Can you not point towards the cultists? It's fine. It's okay. 302 spins. I'd like to get to at least 400 if we could, but gold arrow points off the board. Okay, we are going to get to 400, so that's nice, but uh, we could have done more. Nice. Okay. 
That's nice. This gets rusty geared and multiplied. This gets a, a beer drank. So we pay 300 of 161 spare. And we get to add some of these. Let's add a lucky dice essence for now. That's all we've kind of got. I'm going to re-roll for a hustling capsule. And then cardboard box. So this gives us our third pool ball, which is nice. We roll 47. I'll take a void fruit because it's temporary. Nice, 32, thanks to the golden arrow. I have got a fish tank, so I could have added the gold fish, which would have increased our thing even better, but I forgot. 32 from this crab, thanks to the two arrows pointing to it when it was on a row of another crab. Okay, golden arrow does point off the board, but it's, well, we only roll 36, actually, it's really rough. 375 during four spins, that's good. Let's try and beat it by at least 100 again, so we have that buffer. Which is nice. Here's beer for the dwarf, of course. Golden arrow points to a dud. Bronze arrow points to a dud. Here's our third chemical seven. Which, okay, not yet. We've got to smash the, the chemical seven first, I guess. We've still got the mouse. I'm going to add the cheese. I think we get rid of the, the flour next, actually. We roll 136. We pay 375 with 261 spare. That was the lucky seven that has just done that for us. We'll take a lucky capsule and we'll also take uh, grave robber because we've got that in. We're now going to remove the flower and the little ore. I realize we do still have the cherries. Okay, both arrows point off the board. That's really upsetting. Because the arrows are where the money is right now. Off the board again, not good. Cheese was eaten though, but we do only roll 50 without the arrow. Okay, that's better. It rolled towards a crab when there's two crabs on the same row. So we roll 72. Here's another crab. Three on the same column, not on the same row though. That's sad. Okay, another removal token. Time to get rid of the cherries. Now I get we've got 20 symbols on the board and three of them are duds, but it's gonna be worth it in the long term. We roll 62 right there. Here's more cheese for the mouse. I think we get rid of the dog next. <laughs> uh, to be honest, you know, the dog does not need to be in the build anymore. It okay, points towards the cultist that got rusty geared. So that's really good. We roll 94. Four fifties during one spin. We could make it by like 300 here. Oh, we are going to. Oh, my God. We pay 450 with 320 spare. We're going to add um, happy hour essence and a strawberry as well as, I guess, piggy bank, even though it's not really that useful. But, you know, uh, I guess it kind of could be. Um, goldfish for the fish tank. I remembered this time. And have a bit of passive income inside the fish tank right now. Wow. We got 64 from each of those crabs because both arrows pointed towards it. That's incredible. Removal token. We're going to remove the dog. We have got empties, but I'm okay with it as long as we got the other stuff doing well. We roll 71. Another hustling capsule. Our fourth pool ball. Okay, 59 rolled. Still not too bad. Beer is going to be helpful. We got happy hour essence. So if we the dwarf drinks free drinks. Um, then, what is it? The drinks give 1.5 times more gold this game, which is great. Actually, that's very great. Um, if that's even very great, I'd say very good. Very great doesn't make any sense, really. Maybe it does, but it's just not said often enough. So it's, I feel like great is like a really good point of good. So very great, it doesn't, you know what? Who cares? Three crabs in the same row. No arrows though, but we do still roll 79. We pay 600 with 426 spare. We're actually going to beat it, like, right here. Do we want to re-roll? What are we re-rolling for? Let's take Essence Capsules. Let's take... Conveyor Belt. Let's remove some stuff that we don't need, like the cat and the monkey and the mouse. Okay. Still a rabbit, but... We roll 66. I don't want to add a, uh, a dog back into the build. We just got rid of the dog. We only roll 49. Here's a another cultist. Okay. That's good. Five cultists now. Oh, let's go. 163. That's very good. 650s during six. We've already made it, my friends. As if we just beat floor 15, pretty much. I'm um, actually so like just... And I've been away for two weeks, so I didn't expect to really beat it just yet. You know, I thought I'd uh, kind of get destroyed by it, but you know. I guess this is a sign that there needs to be more, more apartment floors, please. It's the cultist crabs, man. You can never lose with cultist crabs. I mean, you can't really go endless that easily. I mean, you can now with essences, but you still got to find the essences because it, it, it kind of falls off really early. 
because there's no real multipliers apart from the arrows, I guess. Um, but yeah, okay, well, there's one beer drank. Only two more to go for happy hour essence to kick in. Um, but yeah, man, cultists win everything for you. Here's another crab. Nice, three on the same row. Golden arrow points towards nothing. Thank you, golden arrow. Uh, we'll pay 650 here with 444 spare. We will um, we'll add lunchbox essence. We'll also add gray pepper essence. We'll also add Highlander because we have six. We'll also add gray pepper. Golden arrow points towards a cultist. 40 gold, thank you. Uh, we'll add more beer for the dwarf. Quan Dwarf, drink these two beers and that's happy hour essence complete and we get more gold for our beverages. Does that not sound good? 700's due in eight. Kind of already made it, to be honest. So, uh, it's looking like a one run. It's looking like a completed game, to be honest. Floor 15, that's end game. Doesn't get much further than that. Uh, or any further than that, I should say. So, 700 is due in six. Okay, they're all rusty geared and they're the same rows, so decent money there. 140. Here's another crab. It means I've got to remove something. Honestly, the rabbit. Okay. Yeah, the rabbit can go. What goes next then? we has got to stay for a bit. I guess the strawberry goes next. Well, there's a cultist. There goes the strawberry. Okay, nice. Beer drank by the dwarf. Thank you, dwarf. Finally. Still one away though from the uh, happy hour essence. There we go. So now beverages give 1.5 times more gold, which is good. 230 rolled, 700s during two spins. Golden arrow pointing towards two cultists and a single crab, but it's the cultists that matter. 48 from each, 700s during one spin. Oh, we made it, we made it. We pay 700 for 1,278 spare. Not gonna add any of those. I will add Dwarven Anvil, oh my God, okay. Now he's gotta pay 777 in 10 spins. What do you reckon? Oh, here's another cultist. Okay, we're on 20 now. I think one's an empty still. Okay, it is. That's okay. Can't wait till we get to rent payment 12 because then we won't have to add any more. Uh, we won't have to wait for the duds to go. No more duds get added after rent payment 12, which is incredible. So we get a full board to ourselves after that for our attempt to uh, make this go endless. We need some like rusty gear essences, anthropology degree essences, you know, the good stuff. I feel like we haven't seen many essences. Well, we've got a lunchbox essence, I suppose, and lucky dice essence, which I took just to get rid of so we had a better chance of finding essences we want, you know? Um, oh, wow. You're just getting good money now. 777 is during four spins. Um, well, I mean, I'd say we've made it. You should be able to pay your rent, like, really early. I mean, you can make a comfy pillow, I suppose, but, like... Let me pay it up front kind of thing. Okay, item capsule. Frying pan. I still don't think I use this. I think I've had one omelette build in the past. Maybe I should try again soon. Okay, here's the cultist. Now we're on 20 symbols, so no empty spaces now. So what goes next then? I mean, if we've got the duds, I suppose. Maybe the duds go next. Uh, we pay 777. Let's go. You've reached the end of the early access version. Congratulations. This time your landlord was made into soup. Continue playing in Endless. Yes, please. So we want to wait for... What do we want to wait for? We want to wait for the duds to go. Uh, we will add the Undertaker. We will, however, remove... I mean, this one's going to go in three spins. So we don't need to remove anything just yet because Silver Arrow we just added can technically replace this dud in two spins. Then we'll be back down to 20, although there's another cultist. Okay, so when both duds go, we'll be back down to 20 symbols, because right now we're on 22. If we add anything else from now, then we're going to have to start removing Highlander and stuff. Um, but it is very much a cultist crabs build. It all depends on what essence we get. Hopefully we get Anthropology Degree Essence and Rusty Gear Essence, because then they're both buffed, but the cultists will be more buffed. I really can't believe we won with a cultist build. Oh, there's another cultist. Okay, but it's under 22. It means Highlander's got to go because that puts it to 21. When this one goes, it'll be 20. Unless we add another symbol. Honestly, this is the easiest way to win the later floors. It's kind of just, 
It's fine cultists and crabs. <laughs> I, how many times have I done a cultist crab build and just, I don't commit to either one, I just commit to both, then it gets messy. I mean, all the time, like literally all the time. So got 12 spins left on this stud. We'll add an essence capsule. Give me some essences. We don't have a capsule machine yet. It's on our first page of items, I suppose, but you know. Would it be nice to have a capture machine? Get way more essences with that. When you have a capture machine and capture machine essence and then pops pop a essence capsule. Incredible. That's like the best, you know. That's what I live for right there. So you get like six uh, essence tokens from it. All right, we'll pay 1,000. 3,549 spare. We'll take recycling essence and we'll skip those. We'll take time machine item. Eight spins left on the dud. I'm so excited to see the back of this dud. Just get out of here. I don't want to see duds anymore. It's uh, made me feel sick. Here's another hustling capsule. Fifth pool ball of the uh, of the run. It's always nice. Another crab. Okay, now we got to start getting rid of stuff again. Let's get rid of the dwarf then, I guess. And then once the dud goes, we'll be back down to 20. We're on 21 right now. Only six spins left on the dud though, to be fair. Oh, there's another crab. Okay, we gotta get rid of something else. Let's get rid of the bronze arrow. Oh my god. This is kind of insane. Five spins left on the dud. I'm so happy. Oh, there's another cultist. Let's get rid of the silver arrow. <laughs> okay. We have to commit to one or the other. Can't believe we're just getting cultist crab, cultist crab. Four, three, seven rolled. 1500 and five spins. This dud's got three spins left. And it's gone forever. No more duds. We roll 368. Honestly, how do we do this? We won floor 15 with the most APQ build ever. Like, this is literally what I'm known for. I'm known for just cultists and crabs. And every single comment on these videos is like, why do you love crabs so much? Like, crabs are friends, man. Crabs are good. <laughs> crabs won floor 15 for us today. So, is that dud? One spin left on the dud. There we go. The dud is finally gone. Golden arrow does point off the board. We roll 293. We pay 1500 to 5089 spare. We add instant ramen essence. And now we just play the game. Big symbol bomb. Wealthy capsule, sure. Occultist, sure. Let's re roll off oh, for an item capsule. Let's re roll again. Any crabs or cultists in here? Hiding away? Nope. What did we just add? We've got two of those. We'll get rid of the golden arrow now. I shouldn't have done that, to be fair, actually. I shouldn't. The golden arrow is kind of like our uh, our income earner right there. There's another cultist, though. Small symbol bomb. Because that puts us up to 21. It's going to we're gonna have to start getting rid of the crabs, aren't we? We're on 13 cultists. Seven crabs now. Cultists are in the lead. We need anthropology degree essence and rusty gear essence, please to get the value of these cultists through the roof. 2,000 is during seven spins. Aha! We are miles ahead of it. There's another cultist. Let's get rid of another crab. 14 cultists and six crabs. I never thought I'd see the day. This video is late as well. I'm recording this late at night to try and get this out today still because I've always had a missed a video. I don't miss videos on this channel. So, the, uh, the microphone setup took a lot longer than expected because I couldn't get it right and I, I thought, oh crap, no. I thought I had, uh, I thought there was issues with the microphone. It turns out just my, my audio settings were a bit weird and a few dodgy cables made it sound a bit echoey. And I was like, why is the mic echoing? It shouldn't be doing that. Um, I think they're all fixed, so let me know. It might still sound a little bit echoey, so I might have to get that sort of, that thick fixed, but we'll see. I uh, will pay 2,000 here. It's 6,374 spare. Don't need to add any of these. All I need to add is, is cultists. <laughs> That's all I gotta add. Four, three, eight rolled. I want this essence, man. Give me the essence, please. That's all I need. And we are still rolling great numbers with this, but you know, I, I want the essence to multiply the numbers even higher, even larger, even bigger, even more. I want to multiply them even more, not even bigger. Um, 2,500 is during six spins. This is kind of broken. We're getting lots of money for every spin. Um, we can make it even more broken. The little multiplication numbers on top of the cultist's head. But we haven't seen any good essence. The problem with these harder floors, actually, is that you don't get as much essence because well, it's, it's, they're making it more difficult. So 
you don't get to like sp like spam roll essences anymore you just kind of get one every like two or three rent payments i think it is or every two rent payments probably or also if you have a bad if you have a bad item we need to skip it because we got instant ramen essence i always forget about so we'll see now we'll pay 2500 okay essences dishwasher essence is a yes don't want to add any of these so we'll skip and the items we want to skip the items we get to choose free so we will take flush i'm not adding this uh we'll add happy hour and then i will add horseshoe not really what i was kind of going for i was hoping for um i don't know what i was hoping for really uh, we've already got rusty gear have we got anthropology degree maybe i was hoping for that i mean more than likely we don't have anthropology degree Okay, so I was hoping for anthropology degree. We didn't get it. <laughs> um, so we need that. We need the anthropology degree essence. We need the rusty gear essence because they'll multiply us. Anthropology degree will add, increase the value by like one. So not as good as multipliers, but obviously multiplying three is better than multiplying two. Even though all the cultists are with, what are all the cultists with right now when they're rusty geared? 40, no, 28, no, I say 44. They're all with 28, so. Um, you know, add an extra value to that, I guess, or to the base. Be worth even more. Uh, 3,000 is doing free spins. I think we've made this, to be honest. I would like to, you know, carry on with the build, maybe, but we need reroll tokens for that, which, is, of course, is always our most difficult, uh, most difficult part of these runs, is trying to get that sorted. Um, you need a comfy pillow, and then you need to find recycling by using comfy pillow every spin, and it just gets kind of messy, but... We'll pay 3,000 here at 8,598 spare. I'd like to skip those. I would like to add lockpick. Pretty late lockpick, to be honest. Um, a Midas bomb. No, thank you. Don't think I want that. 458. Okay, big in. Why did I almost add a coconut there? Why did my sort of brain just like start moving towards the coconut? Like, no. <laughs> I do love coconuts though. Crab, oh, I'm not even going crabs, I'm going cultists. I keep getting excited by the crabs. Show me a cultist, somebody, please. 3,500 in, how many spins was that? Was that three or five? Who knows? Uh, 3,504, okay, so it was five. Honestly, the cultists look great, even with the crabs. Oh. So we could start getting rid of crabs and adding silver arrows, which probably increase the value I like a lot more than what it is right now. There's a cultist. Nice. Down to five crabs. 15 cultists, five crabs. Oh, look at that. 473. 3,500 is during one. You've got almost 10,000 more than that. Wait, did we only just roll 28? What the hell? We pay 3,500. Did we literally just only roll 28? We'll take lucky seven. We'll take um, dishwasher essence again. We'll take uh, Undertaker Essence again. We'll take uh, Egg Carton Essence. We'll take actual Egg Carton as well. Okay, 482. So it's all on the cultists. We need five more cultists to get a full army. I can't believe we beat Floor 15 though. I'm so happy. What do we do next, you know? I'm going to struggle. Do I just go through it again? Is that going to get kind of difficult? It might get kind of difficult. 4,000 is due in a uh, 7. Okay, reroll capsule is going to be uh, a yes because I need those. I need the rerolls to help find stuff that we, well, need. Um, I really want the comfy pillow items to help me find the recycling item. Did that just roll like 20 again then? I swear like sometimes it just rolls like hardly any money. Okay, no crabs. Always clicked on the crab again. We've got five on the board. That makes me feel like we're building them, but we're not. We're actually removing them. Do I just remove all the crabs now? What's that kind of mean? That's kind of mean. Probably a loss of income as well. So maybe not worth it, but um, 4,000 is during one spin. Okay, we'll pay 4,000. 8,986 spare. I'm gonna skip all of those. We'll take Nori the rabbit. Increases the value of rabbits and their fluff by one. However, we don't have any of those, but uh, we did earlier on, so. Gotta respect Nori. Do we only roll 23? Why are we only rolling 20? What's doing that to us? Why are we only rolling 23? It's kind of it's kind of weird. 
kind of weird to be honest why well, it does that every now and then maybe it's just a visual glitch i don't really know unfortunately I and mean, we're in a good enough position to not need to worry about it but it is weird 4500 is doing five spins we got no stop for our cultists just rolling like high 400s every single spin okay 506 well i mean they just shut me up there didn't they um nope 4500 is doing two spins okay we're gonna carry on let's go 494 we're gonna pay 4500 8922 spare we're gonna take lucky seven essence again and take cleaning rag essence again we're gonna take quiver essence i'm gonna take flush essence Gonna skip. I'm then gonna take pink pepper. Another cultist. That's great. Let's get rid of another crab. Only four crabs left now. Four crabs, man. They always get so close, and then the the cultists always just pip them to the post. They always win. Cultists are just too dominant, I guess. You know. Maybe they're just converting. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, there's another cultist. The crabs are just putting hoods on and turning into cultists. You imagine if the entire cult was actually just crabs in hoods? That'd kind of be cool, not gonna lie. That'd actually be sick. Yo, crab cult, anybody? Yo, have we got any fan artists in the chat? <laughs> I'm not even streaming, there isn't even a chat. Um, <laughs> I, just, I can just imagine the crabs as cultists. Um, that's actually a vibe. I might write a book about crab cultists now. You can develop it into a film. It'd be like Midsummer, but um, for, for crabs as as cultists. Uh, we'll pay five thousand here, eight thousand two hundred and sixty-three spare. We'll skip those. We'll add a guillotine. We just go straight back into spinning here. Only got three crabs left. Just need to get. Oh, I should have rerolled. Should have took the TDM capture and then rerolled. But we don't have any reroll tokens right now. We've added a little chemical seven, which is always nice. Poor crabs, man. Poor crabs. Can't believe we haven't, we haven't had any of the essences that affect cultists yet. It's actually really annoying that we haven't had that. Kind of like all I want. Another Huston capsule, our seventh pool ball. We haven't got a capsule machine yet either, which I'd like. I mean, I'd really like it, but... we on to our third item page. That I did not know. Here's the chemical seven. That'd be our second lucky seven of the current uh, little collection of them we've got. Um, are, we, are we rolling? Oh, we, are, we are rolling like 600 now as opposed to 400. We'll pay 5,500. We keep getting left in the 8,500 mark, which is scaring me. Uh, we will take frozen pizza. We will skip these. I will then take white pepper. So do I get to add two symbols every spin now? I think I do, right? Maybe there's a chance to find a good old cultist in these uh, frozen pizza spins somewhere. We can hope. I don't think so, though. Does it not go down? Oh, does it destroy itself the 10 symbols added after a spin? So I shouldn't have added that removal token then, because that removed a, a life off the frozen pizza. kind of like having the two choices, because it's like, you know, six, six chances to find a cultist without re-rolling, which is great six like you know symbol things not six re-rolls but six symbols to choose from which means there's a greater chance that a cultist in those six and there isn't three five nine five it does look like we're just rolling like 600 every time now or like late 500s okay 530 i take it all back uh crab i almost said yes to the crab i had the chemical seven though it should be the third is it the third one it is okay we roll 613 no, thank you. I don't want any of those. Okay, these guys need to go, but we'll pay 6,000 with 7,788 spare. We'll add black cat essence. We'll skip all of these. We'll add an item capsule. I'll add lemon. I actually really like lemon as an item. Okay, 534. Here's another chemical seven. There's a cultist. Gonna get rid of another, another crab. Our chemical seven's worth more now, thanks to the... Oh, was it Chemical 7 Essence? Is that one of the things we added earlier on? That's actually kind of crazy. OK, 
Okay, no. So we got two crabs to get rid of. Two crabs. We actually gonna do this about the essence. We actually might get 20 cultists about the essences. We rolled 10. How did we just roll 10? Excuse me, how did we just roll 10? What's going on with that? Why is it so buggy? Why did we just roll 10? Okay. No worries. I'm confident we're going to find these cultists. I'm actually very confident we're going to find the cultists. Just got to keep trying. Maybe I shouldn't add anything else other than cultists for a while, just so we can keep the... Uh... No. So we can keep the frozen pizza. That's going to, you know, help us find cultists a lot easier. Okay, yeah, let's try not to add anything. Let's try and fight against my instincts of adding symbols. What do you reckon? <laughs> I can't help myself. I just have to add stuff. We'll pay 6,500 to 6,422 spare. We're actually losing here. I've noticed this number's going down. Now we'll take a golden carrot for some reason. We'll take a removal capsule. We'll take fruit basket. This gives us a chance at a very rare symbol. It does. I don't really care for either of those. I just want two cultists. It's this number's going down every time we pay rent, which is bad. It means that we're not progressing as fast as the, uh, the rent inflation is. So... We are in trouble. Um, I mean, two more cultists and the essences would, would skyrocket us. Or just the essences on their own would even skyrocket us. You know, anything that's going to multiply these values, even by one and a half, it's going to be huge. Never mind two or three. Never mind times 32 or times 64. Times 128, you know, it gets larger and larger. You've seen it before with the, uh, the cats. Okay, 7,000 is doing three spins. We are actually going to lose without getting 20 cultists. This does make me sad. We need we need rerolls. We haven't got enough rerolls, but that's what we need. We've also lost frozen pizza essence now because I've used it too many times. I added too many symbols. That's my own fault. We'll pay 7,000 to 5,889 spare. We'll add um, oil can. I shouldn't have added oil can essence. Anthropology degree, though. Increase the value of all the cultists by one. Um, how does this work? You may respin a column of symbols once per spin. Symbols in the respin column give two times more. Okay. I will do that for a little bit. Try and get some extra. Excuse me. Why do we only just roll 50? What on earth was that about? That's better. We roll 8, 4, 9. Okay, I can do that a few times with this oil can. Try and get us a big chunk of money through the door. Try and keep us going for a little bit longer so we can find those two other cultists. We only got three more spins on it though, but rolling 800 at a time should make us last a lot longer than we currently were. There's a cultist. Nice. We're one away. There's one little crab left. One little crab left. Okay, 929. That's nice. A golden arrow would be cool, but, you know, I can't get rid of the crab for a golden arrow. It's got to be for a cultist. It's the rule. Okay, we got one oil spin left. Oil can spin left. Nice. But we only got twos from it, apparently. Why does it keep doing that? That's so buggy. Must be something I do to do that. Because it happens to me. I think it's the second time it's happened to me with this build. All right, we'll pay 7,500 to 5,064 spare. We'll take copycat essence. We'll skip these. We'll add a popsicle. Could have added instant ramen, but popsicle is very rare. So we'll add the popsicle. So now we're just looking for a single cultist. And I think I have a feeling we may do it before we get any essences to benefit the build. I really do. There's an eldritch creature which could just kill. Oh my god, it could just wipe out all the cultists. That'd be a good end. The drought would be a good end. Finishing in style by doing the most APQ build ever to complete the game. What can I say? Cultists are literally my bread and butter. It's what I specialize in. Just adding 20 cultists into a deck. Yeah, that's that's what I'm good at, is <laughs> adding cultists into the deck. I never say no to cultists. That's the rule. Cultists are proven today. They can win you any floor. Even floor 15. We did just roll 47. We'll pay 8,000 to 3,320 spare. I'm going to cry if we don't get this uh, final one. Please. Somebody find it. I beg. Okay, no crabs, no chemical sevens. Nothing at all. We just want this cultist. Okay, no. Thank you. 769 every time. Now it's gone up quite a lot. 
Can we just roll in 800 with the double oil can spin? What's changed it so much? This crab's got to go. One cultist, come on. Please, we're going to die before we find the last cultist. I know we are. 8,500 in free spins. And we'll make it, but we're going to have a lot left over. I'm going to take a reroll capsule because uh, I need to reroll for this stupid cultist. Then I've called him stupid, he might not show up. I need to be more like superstitious, I think. We'll pay 8,500. We've got 1,722 spare. Oil can could save us again. I'm also going to take a shrine. Oh, I can't spin yet. Okay, let's start spinning now. This should help us out a lot. We're on 929. Maybe not. We're rolling 700 before. Only rolling 200 extra. And that went. Oh, that's what's killing us, man. That spin. What's doing that to us? It's got to be an item I took earlier on. Or something like weird. Some essence that I'm not familiar with. I know we could add golden arrow instead of the crab and it would be a lot stronger, but that's not the rules. It's not the rules of my builds. Oh, I didn't respin a column. Uh oh. We still rolled 769 though. The cultists are coming. The cultists are coming. Okay, four spins. At 9,000 in four spins? I didn't respin. Oh my god. To be fair, I've only got two respins left anyway, but we'll take a hustling capsule. Give us some more passive income. We'll respin this one. 842. 9,000 in two spins. Here's a tedium capsule. Is this going to give us, if we use all our rerolls, is this going to give us the final cultist? It's going to be close. No cultist. No cultist. Oh, no. Okay, we should be able to make it. Yeah, we, we, we are going to make the payment. I think the next payment might be a bit short. <laughs> we'll pay 9,000 here with 665 spare. I'm going to skip those. I'm going to add a uh, Curse Katana. Okay, we, oh no, we get to use oil can twice, of course, because we got Popsicle. Oh, okay, we might be in luck then. I mean, we're going to get 900 from these spins every time, I think. We are, okay, that's good. 9,508 spins. We should be able to get that pretty easily because we're already past that mark as long as we don't get a stupid little bug again where only gives oh my god it has we roll 51 what's doing that to us it's gotta be something right it'll be an essence or something that's doing that to us there's no way that's a bug still if it is i'll be very sad but i mean you know what stuff like that happens it just sucks that we it happened and we're only one little cultist away like it really sucks that it did it when we're only one cultist away 9,500 in free spins. We have got a piggy bank, which might have like over a thousand gold in it now, so we might be lucky. Might be able to stay. Oh, I didn't respin. Well, that's going to lose us the game, probably. Make sure I respin this time. Okay, I've got piggy bank. I'm hoping piggy banks. Oh, it did a stupid spin again. We have to use piggy bank. And we still fall short. Okay, we had two stupid spins that rent payment, I think. 19 cultists, one crab. Are you kidding me? Oh, right. No worries. We completed floor 15, everybody. That's it. The game's completed. We did it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, streams will be continuing or, sorry, resuming this week. I know I didn't stream at all last month. But I was literally traveling for the whole month. And I'm back now. Um, got a new mic, got new stuff, you know. Going to be streaming a bit more. Um, but I'll let you know. I'll, uh, I'll tweet out when I go live and I'll put it in the Discord and I'll probably announce in uh, some videos as well if I pre-plan the streams, that is, and they're not just sporadic at the end of the night. Um, but there's none tonight because I need to rest. Um, yeah, thanks everybody for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. You leave a lovely comment and a thumbs up on the video to celebrate us beating the game. We did it. Floor 15 is done. Can't wait for the new floors in a few more months. Um, but yeah. Apart from that, everybody, carry on doing the usual YouTube stuff. And until next time, goodbye!